This video is going to be a quick follow-up to the one I just posted a couple days ago. That video is on fermentation practices and things you can do to help your fermentation. If you haven't seen that video, the link for it is right up here. Go ahead and push on that. It's only a couple minutes. You might get something out of it. What was interesting though was the number of comments and questions that came around my statement around oxygen. So I thought, okay, I should learn more about this myself and <laughs> share that knowledge with you. Because the big question is, how much and how long do you actually have to put into your wort to make sure it's oxygenated properly? So here's the equation right here. I looked it up, uh, it took a lot of effort to find out, but basically what we've got is the time required is going to be a factor of the amount of wort, the liters per minute, and then the parts per million of oxygen that you're shooting for. And after that, it's pretty simple. For me, it's eight gallons times a half a liter per minute. That's going to be my flow rate. That flow rate, by the way, came to me through a comment of one of the viewers in getting a flow meter to put on my oxygen tank. Very simple, inexpensive thing to add. I think it was only $12. So here I can adjust my oxygen flow relatively accurately. And let's face it, all of our gear here, it's not lab quality equipment, but at least it's going to get us in the ballpark. So if I'm going to have half a liter per minute, I'm going to shoot for 12 parts per million. Kind of the minimum threshold is eight. On a big beer, a high gravity beer, it's maybe 16. So I'm just splitting the difference. I'm going to call it 12. And then I'm going to subtract another constant. So by doing the math here, I have eight gallons times half a liter per minute is four. I'm shooting for 12, subtracting another constant of eight. That's four. Four times four is 16 times 0.1. That gives us about 1.6 minutes. So let's just round that off to call it 1.5, so one and a half minutes. So for me, my setup, I'm going to do half a liter per minute for one and a half minute in pretty much all the beers because they all tend to be rough of that same gravity and monitor the results. The other thing that's nice about doing it this way with the meter here is every time I do a batch, I can put a tick mark right on the cylinder here. I can keep track of how many times I've used it. That way I'll know when it's about to run out. So there you have it. That's my little take on oxygen. It's been a really interesting project. A lot of fun, a lot of great comments. Thank you all for, for those and, and for the advice and questions, I'd say. Um, I think now I'm in better shape myself for oxygenating my work compared to what, how I was before. So thanks again. If there's other topics you'd like to talk about, just drop it in the comments and we'll pick it up next time. Cheers.